An Atlanta tradition continued today when thousands of people who may have otherwise done without enjoyed a Thanksgiving meal. Channel 2's Liz Arts was at the World Congress Center where Hosea Feed the Hungry brought in the meals. Hosea Feed the Hungry expects to have fed about 10,000 people by the end of the day Thanksgiving. They say that 6,000 people will walk through this line here. And organizers tell us that by the time they leave the World Congress Center today, they hope that they are better prepared, all of these people, to start a new chapter in their life. For the very young and for those who take care of them, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Hosea Feed the Hungry is the only way to get a shower, shave, haircut, and a hot Thanksgiving meal. And I'm thankful on this very thankful day. But the organization's mission is more than feeding the homeless. Elizabeth Amilami says this is the gateway to sustainability with a goal of getting as many people possible in a home and prepared to re-enter the workforce. What I'm excited about today is the partnership with the Georgia Department of Labor who are here doing job readiness workshops because many of the people we sent to them were not uh, interview ready. Each of them had the opportunity Thursday to get trained, get a checkup, a clean haircut, and leave with a bag of clothing. If you want some, you can actually achieve it. The different goals that you can achieve. It's a 44 year tradition that is a huge undertaking, but for a daughter who carries on her father's legacy, it's hope. Hosea Feed the Hungry says they were able to place more than 100 people in homes last year. They say that 85% of them have been able to maintain and stay in their homes. Inside the World Congress Center, Liz Arts, Channel 2 Action News.